the truth about Aperture, what it really is and what the Aperture numbers are all about. I'm Wolf Amri, professional photographer and filmmaker and after this video you will no longer get confused by Aperture numbers. Today's lesson will be a bit dry and technical, but instead of turning off now, I'd rather recommend to watch it twice, because we will discuss something that will greatly help you understand photography. I guess most of you know what the aperture is. It's a hole in our lens and can be made bigger or smaller. And most of you also know that by doing that you can let more or less light into your camera making your images brighter or darker. What only very few people know is what those aperture numbers or better f numbers are all about. All they seem to be is confusing. We also use these exact numbers in our exposure bar cheat sheet. But why in the world would camera manufacturers use numbers like 1, 1, 4, 2, 2, 8, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Why not just use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Well, the truth is those numbers really make sense. Some of you may have realized that the aperture number is often listed as f slash the number. There is a reason for that. It actually tells you the diameter of the aperture number and represents a fraction. So f to 8 is actually f over 2, 8. But what is F? F stands for focal length. In case you don't know what that is, check out this video. As an example, this is a 100mm lens. So the focal length is 100mm. If I have that 100mm lens, an aperture number of F over 2, and F stands for focal length, you now know that the aperture diameter is 100mm over 2 or in other words, 50 mm. That doesn't help us much, does it? We really could care less how much the diameter of the opening is when we don't even see it because it is hidden in the lens. But there is an interesting fact. Remember, we said the size of the opening is important for how much light enters the camera. Or in other words, how bright your image will get. Twice the size, twice the brightness. But the light doesn't double with a diameter, but rather with the area. And the area is more or less a circle. From school we know that we can calculate the area of the circle. The formula is radius square by p. The radius is half the diameter that we already know, and p is a constant, roughly 3.14. So let's quickly calculate the area for our 100mm f2 example. The diameter is 100 over 2, so 50 mm. The radio is half the diameter, so that would be 25 mm. Now let's square that and we get 625 square mm. And then we multiply that with p. The result, and therefore the area of the circle, or the area of the aperture opening, is 1964 square mm. Remember, we just said double the size, double the brightness. So logically, if we half the size, we get half the brightness. So let's divide that 1964 square millimeter to get half the size. That will be 982 square millimeter. Now let's calculate the F number for that aperture opening. First, I divide that through P to get R square. That's 312 dot something. And that's our square. Now let's get the square root to get r, or in other words the radius of the aperture, which is 17.68. The radius is half the diameter, so multiply that with 2 and we get 35.36 mm for the diameter. Okay, useless info you might say. Remember, the f number was focal length divided by the diameter. So let's calculate our 100 mm focal length by the diameter we just calculated. And we get 2.8. Surprisingly, f28 is the next full f number after the f2 we started our calculation with. That is pretty cool, right? So 
f2.8 has half the aperture size of f2 and therefore let's half the light in. I want to save you the next calculations, but I hope you trust me when I say the row continues like that. f4 has half the aperture size of f2.8, f5.6 has half the aperture size of f4, and so on. With every step on that aperture row, you lose half the light of the previous. Now you know why your images get darker while the f number gets bigger. They are the denominator of our fractions, with the focal length being the numerator. And the aperture numbers should now be much less confusing. Another cool thing, multiply f2.8 by 2 and you get f5.6. That by 2 will be f11, well roughly. So the second in the row of the aperture numbers is always twice as big. One more thing about aperture. Going from f2 to f28 would be called one f-stop. And that's where the term make your images one stop darker would come from. It reduces the light by half. On the other hand, going from f28 to f2 would be one stop brighter or doubling the light. Now keep that in mind because in one of our next videos that will help us with manual exposure. So stay tuned, subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because otherwise you won't get notified about new uploads.